Hello Dr. Hissel. You made a quite extended analysis of current research among different lines of the Austrian School of Economics. Hi Graham, that's right. Among others the studies made at the Mercato Center. I stumbled over one sentence. I read. Therein, they recognized the interdependence of fields of sociology, political theories and policy making as variables for economic dynamics. Their methodology focused on comparative historical research was partially informed by statistical data. This research line was continued by the generations who followed. For instance, Pritchett, Co. and Storr worked on spontaneous orders in which meaning played a crucial role, comparing the Austrian school with the Virginia and Bloomington school. Wouldn't it be more appropriate to recognize the interdependence of sociology, political theory, and economic dynamics as variables for policy making? That's a very constrained resume from a larger analysis of different individuals within this school. A short approach would possibly be given by Louis' article written in 2005, titled Böttke, the Austrian School and the Reclamation of Reality in Modern Economics. I sequenced it in that order because economic dynamics is the core of their study and their unique contribution on which choices, including policy making, interfere with the market and the economic system. Thus, I group the fields of studies as variables for economics in their research. Certainly, according Böttke and his fellows, the relationship is interdependent and could also be described the other way around. Your proposition would not be more or less correct, but simply shift the focus away from the prime focus they addressed. See page 91. Do you see it also in this way? For me, the works at Mercato Center were very important, because as far as I could see, they were the first in seriously doing empirical studies that combined with a praxeological approach. This was a great inspiration for me. But I have to admit that I have some problems with critical realism and their definition of perception and the sensory in, in relation to empirical rim. Um, this is something you see on page 90. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.